But anyway, here's what we've got. We've got, um, I don't know, a small amount of kerosene. It can be, you know, don't use gasoline or, you know, we call it petrol. But uh, I'm not even going to put all of that in, so, you know, there's not that much in it. And uh, I'm just going to pour it into the pot. Yeah, I might as well have put, put it all in. There's very little left. Anyway, so, turbo torch. Okay, I'm going to ignite it. Okay, so that's it lighting. And uh, now I'm going to connect the fan up. So that's what we've got. We've got a bit of smoke coming out the door there as well. There's my fan, which is a, you know, a modified oil burner. And uh, I'm just going to plug it in. And here's what's going to happen. Okay. Like a flamethrower or something. Okay, so I'm going to close the door. Okay, door now closed. Seems to be hunting for air. And I'm going to give it some more fuel. Or give it some fuel at least. I haven't switched it on yet. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, just turn it back a bit. Okay, so that's it. It's getting a bit of fuel. And it's uh, behaving okay at the moment. There you go, that's what, what it's burning. At that rate, it's probably, you know, 2-3 litres an hour. Uh, I can increase it. And uh, that's the burn we've got. So, you know, you've got, you know, you need electricity, for obviously, for, for this thing to work. It's only, uh, I don't know, 100 watt mode or something like that, and it's not super powerful or whatever. Uh, anything will do it, anything that will blow air. It's not savage pressure either, it's, you know, I don't know. Um... You know, it, it blows maybe, it, it's volume really, but uh, it's trial and error. If you had something that was more powerful, you could put a variable switch on it and, and you know, like a dimmer switch or something and lower it down. But that's it, it's going, no issues. Um, you know, like you, I keep watching videos on YouTube and, you know, I experiment a bit as well. And. Uh, so we've got a bit of smoke here at start up, very very little, I mean you'd want to be really looking to see it, but in any case, um, this is waste oil, and I'm probably overdriving it a bit. So there you go. I used this stove in the first video I did, and um, it's a great little stove, but it's got a couple of cracks in it now, and uh, it, it definitely has seen better days. Um, and I just I connected the flue up through the, the chimney on previous videos anybody who's kind of following along um, you know you'll know that I had the uh, the flue just going out the door here and uh, up and over the roof so let's have a look and see what's going on quite a bit of heat out of it uh, you know I've just increased the flow rate now and it takes a couple of seconds for that to go down the tube and it will appear in the, the stove, I'm sure we'll see um, the difference in the flame, there you go so it's fairly, you know, it's fairly quick um, once the oil gets down that tube and into the into the burn chamber that's it, off it goes seems to burn very clean um, I haven't used it a lot uh, I only kind of connected up the flue yesterday, so today I've been playing with it a, li a little bit, but uh, certainly plenty of heat out of it. Um, there's a great video from Two Jeffs One um, on YouTube there as well. He's got a great setup. He's got um, uh, great control gear and stuff on it. Uh, this is just my version of it. Um, it's just really a version of a torque burner. But uh, that's all I have, you know, just a T-piece with a hole in it so you can see the actual oil going into it. Uh, gate valve, bit of pipe, and a bucket. Uh, gravity fed. So there's the oil. And up through the roof. Let's go have a look at the smoke. You know, and as you can see, what smoke? No smoke. So that's fantastic. Uh, 
and it's just burning away. The amount of heat out of it is very, very good. Savage. I'm burning about the same amount of fuel as I was before. Uh, three, four liters an hour, something like that. And um, and I'm getting great heat out of it. Uh, the beauty of this one is, you know, it's it's a modified. Um, it's very little modified stove. The other one I, I cut it, a six inch hole in the bottom of that stove, which I've put a plate over now so, so I could use this thing on it. But uh, all I had to do with the stove, essentially, was that, you know, drill, um, I don't know, what is it, 30 mil hole in the back of it, something like that. Big, a bit bigger maybe. Big enough anyway for, uh, for a one inch GB fitting. And, uh, And the heat out of it is savage. It's building and building and building all the time. So I'm not afraid to kind of... There you go. I had ate something there a second ago. So you can see the beam. Okay, so... Reflective stuff doesn't work so good on these, but it's saying, you know, two, three hundred degrees, three fifty, something like that. From the flu. So, you know, I'm getting a second take on the, uh, on the actual heat. You know, the stuff that's going out the exhaust, I'm, it's throwing heat into here as well. Okay, YouTube. There you go. Indication of the sort of heat that's coming out of this thing. No problem getting tea or coffee. And uh, this thing is burning really well. So I've been playing around, you know, giving it too much, too little. And uh, as I say, a needle valve would be better if you've got good quality fuel and so on. I'm just using that gate valve because um, I had one. But, you know, if I increase the oil, I get an instant response. If I decrease it, instant response. And, uh, to be honest, I couldn't be happier. You know, it's, it's very, very good. As I say, if you wanted one that runs on electricity, definitely give this one a shot. And it's actually easier to build than the, uh, than the first burner unit I knocked up. Because you don't have loads of holes to drill. Um, essentially, it's just a pipe within a pipe. You know, if you have the pipe going straight, just run it straight through a T-piece through and block, you know, block off the end or something so that the, um, you know, the, the, the air doesn't blow out, it only blows where you want it to go. Other than that, very, very easy. And, uh, you know, it boiled that kettle very, very quickly. And that's it. I was a bit worried about this stereo. Um, yeah, it's certainly hot, but it's not It's not going to burn up. Although, this is my uh, homemade <laughs> DIY antenna, and it touched the flue and uh, didn't like it, melted. Some of the uh, insulation off the outside. There's the smoke situation. Nobody complaining about that. And uh, a little bit, but very, very little. And there's the, there's the flame. Where's the flow rate? You know, if I turn that down a bit, uh, there'd be no smoke. Or if I could up increase the air, again, there would be no smoke. Uh, I'm limited with the, uh, the the fan I've got. But a serious amount of heat out of that. Absolutely serious amount of heat. It's, um, I've got the door open now, so it's blowing cold air across it. But in, in the shed situation, what have we got? That's centigrade. Let's go Fahrenheit. So, there you go, 900 and bits, you know, 940, 970, I think I saw there for a second. So it just depends on where you pick on the stove. But, you know, temperatures in excess of 800 degrees on average, I would imagine. And, uh, I, you know, if I don't mind it smoking outside, I can give it more oil. But as it is, it seems to be burning very nicely. And, uh, very, very simple way of getting heat out of waste oil, very simple. Uh, the trick is, you know, to, to give it a bit of a, 
kerosene or something just to get it to kick. Once it kicks and, and the um, you know the pot begins to get red, it's self-sustaining. You just give it a bit of air, give it a bit of um, oil, and off you go. And again, because I'm not sure how any of this is going to turn out, I'm just going to open that door again so you can see inside. I mean, that's intense. That is. serious amount of heat. I've just opened the bottom. Um, I'm still experimenting with this today. It's the first day I got to really mess with it. Um, it's very good. It really is. So if you have a bit of a fan, I mean you could <laughs> you could go playing with this with a hair dryer and a couple of bits of pipe and a bean can. You know, I mean you could you could make one of these things very quickly do, and see for yourself. Um, I was seriously thinking about putting this in the bottom of the propane tank and um, giving it a shot there just to see. Uh, the, the burn chamber in the propane tank project I did is at the top but um, I could easily put it into the bottom and then it still leaves me that I could kind of do my thing at the top and all that sort of stuff. Uh, that would give me three ways of burning fuel, you know, solid fuel in the top, uh, waste oil in the top through that other burner I made, and um, you know, and this as well. But to be honest, I, you know, <coughs> I was worried, you know, how is I going to, or not worried, but it, you know, I wanted to see if I could come up with some way of heating the, um, heating the shed, the garage. Uh, workshop, whatever you want to call it, and um, and definitely, you know, any of the above work. Waste oil is certainly a great way of doing it. It can be waste vegetable oil if you want to be green or whatever, you know, or um, whatever you have to burn, really. The glass on this thing wants to stay clean. Um, it's been going for hours now at this stage, and um, it seems very reliable. You'd have to be 100% sure of your fan, but uh, that's why those uh, burner units make make a great a great one. But squirrel cage fan of any description, whatever you've got, a 12 volt one out of a car, whatever. Um, and if you can produce more air than I can, um, you could get more heat out of it. But to be honest, I you know, I can't imagine I'd need any more heat than this thing is throwing out. Uh, someone suggested the other day that you know 300 degrees is enough. Well, not in my case. Um, because this is, the shed is cladded steel and it's um, single wall at the moment and um, 300 degrees and it's I don't know it's it's a uh, 30 feet by 20 feet 600 square feet and then it's about 12 13 feet high so uh, 300 degrees down this end of the, the shop not going to do it for me look at that Lovely and clean, no smoke. I only put this outside for now just to see if it makes things any quieter. It does sound a bit like a jet engine, so that's the only problem. Um, but not a problem in a shed, you know, you're going to have the stereo on, or you, um, you know, if you're in a basement, maybe you could, uh, you could insulate it if you had a boiler or whatever and you were looking to get heat into the boiler. But this sort of configuration would actually fit very, very easily into a, an oil boiler. And uh, you know, central heating pump. You could heat your house on this, no problem. Uh, again, I'd prefer to have the boiler outside. I wouldn't do any experiments in my house in case anything went wrong. Earlier, I, I spilled some oil in this thing, and as I said before, I've stains all over the floor now at this stage from messing around with this stuff. But it's not, um, it's not a problem. It's only a shed, and I'm going to paint the floor in any case. Uh, so, I mean, the potential to <laughs> burn your house down is certainly there. Be careful. Um, you know, experiment outside or in the shed or something, and well away from anything that's going to blow up. Um, but it burns really, really well, really well. And there are some great projects on YouTube. Better, you know, better projects than what I'm after doing. But uh, certainly, I had fun doing it. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep messing around with stuff.
So that's it for me, YouTube. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, maybe I'll catch you again on the next video if I can find something uh, <laughs> something that interests me to kind of put together. But um, I think that's it for now. What I might do is um, try that particular assembly uh, fixture, whatever you want to call it, into my um, stove, the one that I built with the, uh, the Pyrex dish, and see how that burns, or see how it looks, how it works, see if I can dual function it. Um, with the, uh, the the pipe in there, it kind of limits what you can do. This is a solid fuel stove, but with that thing in there, I can't put the grade in and all that sort of stuff. Um, so the uh, the propane tank project I did, I can certainly configure that so I can burn solid fuel and use this thing and the uh, the other burner as well if I wanted to. So very easily. So maybe I'll do that in the next one. But we'll see. Um, so if you liked it, found it useful, uh, you know, you can click the like button, subscribe, comment, whatever, you know, or just move on to the next video. But listen, thanks very much. See you then. Bye.